What's up YouTube? Today we are going to try something a little bit different. Have you ever wanted mac and cheese? Then again you want a dessert? It kind of came out with something that combines the best of both. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Van Leeuwen? Leeuwen? Something like that? They are now making a Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. And it's kind of strange. This came out initially in like a limited batch, a limited release that was only in like certain markets. And now I guess it was so successful that it's going nationwide. Now, I like Kraft macaroni and cheese. I like generic Kraft cheese, what, whatever. We know it's fake, but when you think about it, cheese is dairy. Ice cream in most cases is dairy as well. So, well, it might be good. I'm kind of skeptical. We'll see how it is. <laughs> All right, ready to give it a try? First things first, let's open it up. Well, that's nice. They put a little plastic seal on it. Yeah. Not most, uh, most companies don't do that. Oh God, it smells like cheese. Oh God, it smells like cheese. <laughs> it's like frozen cheese. All right, I'll sit. Spoons aside, we'll have to have the kids try this. Spoon. Sure. Alright, here we go. I'll take a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> There's something strange about this. It straight up tastes like you just mixed up a pot of the cheese sauce, the packet of cheese sauce, out of the Kraft Mac and Cheese, and you just froze it. That is oddly good. Yeah. That, that It's very it's smooth. Weird, but good. Yeah. <coughs> it's very smooth. <coughs> it's, it's got typical ice cream texture to it, but it tastes just like you're eating the straight cheese sauce. No pasta. I did not expect it to be good. Mm -mm. I'll be honest, I expected it just to kind of freak me out a little bit. It kind of tastes weird, but <coughs> it's coming out okay. It's coming out okay. Well, for the real test now, we know that macaroni and cheese is a kid's favorite. A staple among children across the United States. So, we're going to get our kids in here and see what they think. All right, guys, so we've got the kids here. They're cleaned up, they're ready for bed, and of course you know you gotta have dessert before bedtime, right? Yeah. 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 But here's the thing. Is mac and cheese a dessert food? No. Not really? I'm telling you, Mom and I just tried this, and it is weird. From our perspective, it tastes like you just mixed up the cheese sauce packet out of mac and cheese box, and you froze it, and you just took a spoonful. So. We're going to get you each a little spoonful, and I want you to taste it and see what you think. Hold it. Hold it. Let's get Andy. Hold it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Mmm. Good. You, you, you really think it's good? Camera's up there. Show oh. the camera. Say it's good. What do you think? I think it's you good. You actually like it? Yeah. Surprisingly, I do too. What's that face for? Uh oh. Are you sure? Are you sure you yeah, like it? I do like it. You do like it? It's just that first it tasted a bit weird, yeah, but then it's good. Like second later, it tasted good. Well, there you go. And do you think it tastes like mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Kids approve too. Interesting. All right. All right, guys. So. We tasted it, mac and cheese ice cream, and I'll be honest, as far as things got, like I remember seeing the articles about when this came out, the only person that I actually saw taste test this online was Dana White, president of the UFC. He does like a, a Friday thing on social media where he tastes all kinds of weird food and stuff. It's every Friday, but this was something that I saw him try, and it's just so weird, and it's intrigued me since, and it, it was a case of like... We live in the middle of nowhere, so we never get to be a test market for anything. So it's interesting when this kind of stuff actually comes out, and we like to try it. So we'll probably do a little more taste testing like this, but 
realistically, definitely surprised at the fact that it's it's weirdly good, and it tastes just like mac and cheese. Yeah. So, I guess if you had to rate it out of ten, what would you give it? What would you give it? When it comes to all the weird stuff that we've tried, I'd probably say closer to a ten. But out of everything, I don't know. Like, like if you're comparing it to other things, a ten. But, but just ignoring all that other stuff as itself, like as an ice cream, what would you rate it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a six. It's not something I would actually buy on a regular basis. I think I'd agree. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'd maybe lean a little bit more towards seven, just because. You know, again, as an ice cream, it's weird, it's different, it's not something that you would usually buy, but it's got a surprisingly good flavor to it. Again, tastes just like you froze that cheese packet sauce. You know, yeah. you made the sauce, you froze it up, or, or something that maybe you do as an experiment, like if you were doing a cooking experiment or like science class when they taught you how to make ice cream in the baggie with the, you know, with the salt and the ice and stuff. Yeah. But... I, I don't know. It, it's not something I would buy on a regular basis, but I agree. It's It's got a unique flavor to it in comparison to all kinds of other things out there that sometimes are usually, oh, check out this idea. We're going to make it into an ice cream or we're going to make it into a snack, you know, whatever, and it tastes terrible. But then you get this and it's like, wow, this kind of hits on some nostalgia yeah. with the kid inside loving the crap mac and cheese and loving that as a dinner. Even our kids there, they both surprisingly liked it. Yeah. Weird taste at first, but then they enjoyed it after. But, I don't know. So there you have it. I guess kids loved it. Kids approved. She says about 6 out of 10. I say about 7. I, I give it a little more of, of an edge just because it's surprisingly delicious. After this, I probably won't buy it on a regular basis if it's out for a while, but maybe once in a while, just if I want a weird, you know, combination of dessert and dinner in one sitting, mac and cheese and mm -hmm. ice cream. That's one thing I can really say I do like about it is that it comes in the small containers. Yeah, for for the expense, it's it's almost five dollars for just a little container, whereas you know you could go spend five dollars on a like. What? Yeah. It's not even a half count, it's like a quart or whatever, you know, which gives you more. And this is a 14 ounce, I don't even think that's considered a pint, something like that. I'm, I'm not sure what the measurements are, but but either way, you know, not bad, not bad. So Van Leeuwen, uh, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, French ice cream. We found it at Walmart. That's probably where you guys will find it, Walmart or, or another grocery type store like that. So... Let me know down in the comments what you think, if you agree with us, or if you have a different score for it, whatever. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Kraft Mac and Cheese Ice Cream. We'll see you in the next thing of whatever weird food we decide to try. <laughs>